What if I told you that two Mexicans, living just hundreds of miles apart, could be as genetically different as a European is from an East Asian? It sounds unbelievable, doesn't it? But the hidden story behind Mexican DNA is far richer and more surprising than most of us imagine. This isn't just about ancestry. It's about ancient civilizations, conquests, migrations, and the unshakable threads that connect the past to the present. For centuries, we've seen Mexicans as a unified group, many calling themselves mestizo, a mix of indigenous and European heritage. But science tells a different tale. DNA reveals a history shaped by incredible diversity, spanning thousands of years, and it's not just locked in history books or ancient artifacts. It's written in the genes of millions of people today. So, how did this hidden story unfold? How did the Aztecs, Mayans, Spanish conquistadors, African slaves, and even modern migrations contribute to Mexico's rich genetic tapestry? And why does it matter, not just for understanding history, but for shaping healthcare, identity, and our connection to the world today? In this video, we'll uncover the fascinating secrets of Mexican DNA, exploring ancient roots, the impact of colonialism, and how the genes of millions carry the echoes of ancient empires. By the end, you'll see that Mexican DNA doesn't just tell one story, it tells a thousand. Mexico is a land of extraordinary history, and its genetic diversity is rooted in ancient civilizations that thrived long before the Spanish arrived. Thousands of years ago, the Almecs, the Maya, the Zapotecs, and the Aztecs rose to power, building monumental cities, creating complex systems of trade, and cultivating a cultural richness that still echoes through modern Mexico. But what many don't realize is how these civilizations also shaped the genetic blueprint of their descendants. You see, Mexico's geography played a huge role in preserving this diversity. Vast mountain ranges, dense rainforests, and expansive deserts isolated many indigenous groups, allowing them to develop unique genetic traits over thousands of years. Scientists have identified three major genetic clusters across the country, each one tied to specific indigenous populations and their ancient homelands. For example, the Seri people of northern Mexico, living along the Gulf of California, remain one of the most genetically distinct groups in the country. In the south, near the Guatemalan border, the Lacandon Maya preserved DNA that's deeply tied to the ancient civilizations that ruled the region for over 4,000 years. And in central Mexico, near the Valley of Mexico, populations reflect the genetic influence of the Aztec Empire which was one of the largest and most powerful civilizations in the Americas. Here's the astonishing part. The genetic differences between these indigenous groups are as dramatic as those between Europeans and East Asians. That's because they remained isolated from one another for thousands of years, developing distinct genetic profiles that persist even today. So, why does this matter? Well, it reminds us that Mexican DNA isn't just a blend of indigenous and European ancestry. It's a patchwork of diverse stories from civilizations that thrived long before Columbus set foot in the Americas. And this genetic diversity isn't just history. It's a vital part of modern identity, culture, and even health. The arrival of the Spanish in the 16th century marked a turning point in Mexico's genetic history. When Hernán Cortés and his conquistadors landed, they brought more than weapons and horses. They brought a seismic shift in the population's genetic makeup. But the story of this conquest isn't as straightforward as it seems. The Spanish colonization introduced a phenomenon known as directional mating. Most of the Spanish settlers who arrived were men, and they formed relationships, often unequal, with indigenous women. This left a profound mark on the genetic landscape of Mexico. Today, the paternal DNA, or Y chromosome, in Mexicans is predominantly European, particularly in the north and west of the country. But the maternal DNA, inherited through the mitochondria, tells a very different story. Nearly 90% of Mexicans have indigenous maternal ancestry, reflecting the deep roots of Native American women in shaping the population. And then there's the lesser-known story of African slaves. During the colonial period, thousands of Africans were brought to Mexico to work in mines and on plantations. While their genetic contribution is smaller, ranging from 1% to 5%, it's still significant especially in regions like the Gulf Coast. This legacy adds another layer of complexity to Mexico's genetic story. But here's where it gets interesting. Despite 500 years of mixing between indigenous, European, and African populations, 
the genetic remnants of ancient indigenous groups remain surprisingly intact. For example, researchers have found clear traces of Aztec, Mayan, and other pre-Columbian civilizations in the DNA of modern Mexicans, even in cosmopolitan areas where European and African ancestry are also present. What does this tell us? The conquest may have reshaped Mexico's population, but it couldn't erase the deep imprint of indigenous ancestry. In fact, it's this blending of histories, indigenous, European, and African, that makes Mexican DNA so unique. It's a genetic reflection of resilience, adaptation, and the survival of ancient cultures. When you think of Mexico, you might picture a single nation with a shared culture. But beneath that national identity lies a hidden mosaic of regional genetic diversity. From the deserts of Sonora to the lush rainforests of Cayapas, Mexico's DNA reflects its geography and its history. In northern Mexico, where the dry deserts stretch across vast distances, European ancestry is most dominant. This region was a hub for Spanish settlement during the colonial period, which is why paternal European DNA is strongest here. Indigenous ancestry while still present, takes a backseat to the legacy of Spanish conquistadors. But as you move south toward the center of the country, the genetic story changes. Here, indigenous ancestry becomes more prominent. Central Mexico was home to the Aztec Empire, one of the most advanced civilizations of its time. The Valley of Mexico, where Mexico City now stands, served as a cultural and political center for centuries. The DNA of people from this region is a true mix balancing indigenous and European heritage, with remnants of ancient empires still visible today. And then there's southern Mexico, particularly the Yucatan Peninsula. This region has the highest concentration of indigenous ancestry in the country, especially among Mayan communities. The Maya lived in relative isolation for thousands of years, protected by mountains, rainforests, and their own cultural dominance. Even today, their genetic makeup remains one of the most distinct in Mexico. What's even more fascinating is how these regional differences affect modern health. Researchers have discovered that lung capacity, for example, varies between Mexicans from the West and those from the Yucatan. This isn't just a random difference. It's tied to genetic traits inherited from indigenous ancestors. Imagine two people, the same age and health, taking a lung test. A person from the West could appear up to 10 years younger in terms of lung function compared to someone from the Yucatan. These findings highlight a simple truth. Mexican DNA isn't a single story. It's a collection of regional narratives, each shaped by geography, history, and culture. From the Seri people in the north to the Lacandon Maya in the south, the diversity within Mexico is extraordinary. And here's the incredible part. Even in today's cosmopolitan cities, where populations are highly mixed, the DNA of ancient indigenous groups still maps onto specific regions. It's like a genetic fingerprint of Mexico's history, hiding in plain sight. For generations, the term mestizo has been used to describe the majority of Mexicans, a term that means a mix of indigenous and European ancestry. But here's the thing. This label oversimplifies the rich complexity of Mexican identity. Mestizo suggests a homogeneous blending of cultures, but DNA tells us a different story. Every Mexican has a unique genetic signature, shaped by centuries of migration, conquest, and adaptation. Two individuals who both identify as mestizo could have completely different genetic profiles. One might carry a majority of indigenous ancestry, while another might have stronger European or African influences. Take maternal ancestry. For example, nearly 90% of Mexican women trace their mitochondrial DNA to indigenous American haplogroups. These genetic markers have been passed down, generation after generation, from mothers to children. But if you look at paternal DNA, or Y chromosomes, European ancestry dominates. This reflects a history where Spanish men fathered children with indigenous women during the colonial era, a history of power imbalance that still shapes how identity is defined today. What's more, the diversity of indigenous groups adds even more layers to this narrative. Mexico is home to dozens of indigenous languages and cultures, from the Nahua in central Mexico to the Zapotec in Oaxaca and the Maya in the south. Each group has its own traditions, histories, and genetic traits, but they are often lumped together under the broad term indigenous. DNA testing is now challenging these old narratives. 
Modern tools like Ancestry DNA and other platforms allow people to trace their roots with incredible precision. You can uncover connections to specific regions or even specific indigenous communities like the Mixtec, Huicol, or Tarahumara. For many, these discoveries are deeply personal, offering a chance to reclaim a part of their heritage that might have been lost to history. But it's not just about ancestry, it's about identity. Mexico's genetic story shows us that being mestizo isn't a single story. It's a mosaic, where each individual carries their own unique blend of history and culture. And as science uncovers more about Mexican DNA, it's helping people reconnect with their roots in ways that go far beyond the simple labels of the past. In the end, Mexican DNA isn't just about where you come from. It's about understanding who you are today. Mexican DNA doesn't just tell a story of history and identity. It holds the potential to revolutionize medicine. The incredible genetic diversity in Mexico impacts how diseases are diagnosed, treated, and even understood. But this diversity also highlights a problem. Many global medical studies have overlooked populations like Mexicans, leading to gaps in precision medicine. For instance, let's talk about lung health. Scientists discovered a striking difference in lung capacity across populations in Mexico. Someone from the western regions with indigenous ancestry might show a baseline lung function far superior to someone from the Yucatan Peninsula. These differences, tied to genetic variation, could lead to misdiagnosis if doctors rely on generalized health metrics rather than region-specific data. Another area where Mexican genetics plays a role is type 2 diabetes. Certain genetic variants associated with this condition are more prevalent in indigenous populations, yet treatments don't always account for these unique traits. Without studying these variations, we risk developing therapies that aren't effective for significant portions of the population. Asthma is another prime example. Research has shown that ancestry-specific genetic markers affect how individuals respond to asthma medications. Scientists found that Mexicans with indigenous ancestry respond differently to certain treatments compared to those with higher European ancestry. By understanding these nuances, doctors can move toward precision medicine, tailoring treatments to each person's unique genetic makeup. But the gaps in research are glaring. Did you know that most genetic studies focus overwhelmingly on populations of European descent? Less than 5% of participants in global genomic studies represent people of Latin American ancestry despite their immense genetic diversity. This means that many medical advancements, from drug trials to disease predictions, are based on data that may not apply to Mexicans or other underrepresented groups. Efforts like the Mexico Biobank are starting to change that. By analyzing genetic samples from thousands of people across Mexico, researchers are uncovering new insights into how diseases affect different populations. This isn't just important for Mexicans in Mexico. It's crucial for the millions of Mexican-Americans and others of Mexican descent around the world. Their health outcomes can also benefit from the inclusion of diverse populations in medical research. At its core, this diversity in Mexican DNA reminds us that medicine isn't one-size-fits-all. The more we understand the genetic stories of different populations, the closer we get to a future where healthcare is truly personalized. Mexican DNA isn't just a window into the past. It's a key to unlocking better more equitable medicine for the future. The story of Mexican DNA doesn't just matter for Mexico. It holds lessons for the entire world. At its core, the genetic diversity of Mexico is a reflection of humanity's shared journey, migration, adaptation, and the resilience of culture. Let's start at the beginning. Tens of thousands of years ago, humans crossed the Bering Land Bridge from Asia into the Americas. Over time, they spread across the continents, adapting to different climates and ecosystems. In Mexico, the unique geography created isolated indigenous populations, each with its own genetic profile. These genetic fingerprints preserve ancient stories about how humans evolved and survived. But this isn't just a story about the distant past. The genetic diversity in Mexico has global implications for understanding health, ancestry, and identity. Take migration, for example. Millions of people of Mexican descent now live in the United States and other countries. Their genetic makeup reflects not only Mexico's diversity but also the broader story of indigenous, European, and African ancestry that shaped the Americas. And then there's medicine. By studying Mexican genetics, researchers can gain insights that apply to other populations worldwide. For example, 
Some genetic markers linked to type 2 diabetes and heart disease in indigenous Mexicans are also found in other Native American and even Asian populations. Understanding these markers could improve healthcare outcomes not just in Mexico but around the globe. But Mexican DNA also challenges us to think about identity in new ways. It shows us that labels like Latino or Hispanic are oversimplified. These terms might group people together for convenience, but they fail to capture the incredible diversity that exists within these communities. Someone from northern Mexico could have a genetic makeup completely different from someone in the Yucatan. And yet, both are part of the same nation. What's remarkable is how Mexican DNA connects us all. It reminds us that migration and mixing aren't new. They've been happening for thousands of years. And while we may focus on the differences between populations, the truth is that our genes reveal just how interconnected we really are. This is why studying Mexican DNA matters. It's not just about understanding one country's history. It's about uncovering the story of human adaptation and survival. It's about learning how our differences make us unique and how our shared genetics connect us as one human family. So, what does Mexican DNA really tell us? It's more than just a genetic code. It's a story. A story of ancient civilizations that thrived long before the Spanish set foot on these lands. A story of resilience, as indigenous peoples carried their ancestry forward through centuries of upheaval and change. And a story of adaptation as Mexico's genetic tapestry evolved to include European, African, and even Asian threads. But it's also a deeply personal story. For every individual, their DNA isn't just a map of where they come from. It's a key to understanding who they are. Whether it's discovering a connection to the Mayan people, tracing roots to an ancestral town in Maicocan, or learning about a distant relative across the border, Mexican DNA reminds us of the richness of identity. This diversity isn't just fascinating, it matters. It shapes how we understand history, how we approach medicine, and how we view ourselves as part of the human family. Mexican DNA teaches us that differences aren't divisions, they are opportunities to learn more about the shared journey we've all taken as humans. So, as you think about your own ancestry, your own roots, remember that the story of Mexican DNA is a reminder of how complex, beautiful, and interconnected our world truly is. If this story inspired you, we'd love to hear from you. Share your thoughts in the comments below. What surprised you the most? What part of your own story are you curious to explore? And don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more journeys into the fascinating stories hidden in our genes. Because at the end of the day, our DNA doesn't just tell us where we come from, it shows us how we're all connected.